All right, guys. I found his longer shocks here. They're off of a HBI Wheelie King, same as a Crawler King. And they're quite a bit longer than the standard TRX4 shocks. So I'm going to see if I can mount them up. What I'm going to start with is just bodge up some mounts just to make sure that the concept works. If it does work, then I'll make some better ones. All right, guys, I've put one on here so far. And I think... It can't, it can't go any higher here for, for the body that I'm running. And obviously I, I can't run it in the standard shock mount because then it, it's not going to travel down at all. It's going to hit on the chassis as well when it articulates. So it's going to have to be mounted up here somewhere. Now I reckon if we close that, put that sort of, I don't know, somewhere there, I think. And then as that moves up, nice bit of droop there as well. So what I'm going to do, I've got this old bit of plastic screw bucket thing here. I'm going to cut a bit of plastic out of that and then just screw it onto here where these two, two bolt holes are here. Put that on there for now and just to see how it works. Do something similar for the front. I'm thinking the same, just come off of these two bolt holes here and have something mounted so it's sort of at an angle like that. So I can't take these off because the shock towers are attached to it. So These metal shears are designed to cut steel. <laughs> Don't really cut through it that well. And these body shell scissors, straight through. Alright, so I've just cut this paper template out. That'll go on something like this, I'm thinking. So full up travel. That's going to travel kind of that far. And full down. It's going to bottom out where the standard ones bottom out. And I can always put more holes in here to get it to where I like it. But for now, I'm just going to do it like that. Transfer that onto this bit of plastic, make two of them, get them bolted up and see what it does. All right, let's get that bolted on there and see how it looks. Remember guys, it's just a mock up. All right, so I'll do the same to the other side. All right, it's got that all mounted up. It's got some travel guys. Oh, that's got some flex there, guys. All right, I'm just going to do the same on the front and then see how it all mounts up. All right, guys, that's all mounted up now. Got some, definitely got some flex. The front, uh, it's getting, it's getting pulled on this diff lock thing here, stopping it from going more. But still giving it some twist. It does feel almost too soft now. But we'll give it a little blast and see what, see what you think of it.
Uh oh. That's not going to go anywhere like that, is it? <laughs> right, if we can get some grip on that belt side in the box. Hopefully that'll be enough just to put it over that hoverboard. We should hopefully get grip on that front wheel on the truggy. Back it up slightly. So you're going to get caught if it goes over that rear wing of the truggy. Normally, if you've got one good wheel that's got grip, it's going to go. Check that out. <laughs> what about TRX4 with um, X Max wheels on it? Will it move? Check that out guy, that's crazy. Easy. Alright guys, for our first test that went pretty well. I mean it's got loads of loads of flex. It definitely gets over obstacles like loads better, like like day and night difference. It jumps better, but the only trouble is because it's so soft and it's got so much travel, it seems to sort of body roll too much when you're trying to take corners fast. It just leans so far, so much, and just wants to tip over. So I think it's going to need stiffer springs in there. Maybe stand these shocks up a little bit. I think with them laying down so flat, it makes them really soft. But you know, with a bit of messing about, I reckon we'll get that to work quite well. I mean, if we can get that to have this much flex, and still drive pretty good, uh, you know, in all conditions, then I reckon that'll be a high five. Still got to mess about with different shock angles, so once I've found out the setup that I like, I'll make these up out of aluminium or something and make it all a little bit neater. All right, well, I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell button, and see you soon.